trust your educational institutions. dream pastor jeremy ethan and i were all living at home again in 1344 in the attic and uh, ethan jeremy and i were all wearing our tidy whities that year. and i ethan and jeremy were upstairs already and i went upstairs and when i got to the top of the steps ethan came out of his room and said we have to show them we're a force to be recognized with and told me to go downstairs and to tell them that we're going to be a force to reckon with and i said why should I be the one to tell them? None of them are from my congregation, and none of them are my students. So this doesn't mean anything coming from me. And then Jeremy went on to explain how when Trump slash Bush, because the name kept switching, were dealing with the tragedy, uh, he launched an attack in London. And when he starts describing this, you see London city streets in these giant electronic billboard signs that are flashing either Trump or Bush in red, white, or blue. And, and Jeremy said, now, at the time, London started attacking Trump. And when he said attack, he was like, he was shooting him. Uh, but then they realized that what he was doing was right. But if Trump had acted sooner, then the problem wouldn't have been as bad. And he was using that as, a re as reasoning for why I needed to go down and explain things to the teachers, uh, to the students, and to the congregation. And I still think it still doesn't make any sense because they're not my congregation, it's not my students. What are you supposed to explain to them, you know? We're going to be a force <laughs> oh, to reckon with. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. And then.